to No Sleep Till Midnight. I'm your friend, Gabriel, and I'm joined with my friends, James. Ligma. (laughs) (laughs) Kristen. Hi. (laughs) Noah. Hey, a friendo. And me boy, Reese. It is me. Yes. Yes. I think I did the Ligma joke wrong. (laughs) <laughs> I just yeah. decided to ignore that. <laughs> it's so old. It's so dead. Like my ligma. Noah, do you like dragons? I feel like I'm walking into a trap. <laughs> no, it's, no just, I'm not. it's it's a genuine question. No, really, yeah. Do you like dragons? Let's move on. No, no come on, no. Do it. The <laughs> fact that Reese is like, yeah, it's a, ge- a genuine question. Like, no. Well, at least do it for the bit, all right? No. Yeah. Do it for the bit. No. Hey, hey James. James, uh, uh, I like dragons. <gasps> oh, the reason, uh, let me come over and dragon these nuts on your face. Uh-huh, Is that how yeah, it goes? Yeah. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go. Just cut all the rest we'll where we failed. <laughs> no, it's all leaving. That's all staying in. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so how have you guys been this week? Doing well. Horrible. Horrible. Just, no, just kidding. It's been all right. Yeah. Just tired. Abysmal. Abysmal. <laughs> thanks, thanks for one-upping me. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Anytime. How about you, Gabe? How are you? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. A little tired, you know, working on the weekend Help. and then... It is almost midnight. It is, Ooh. too, almost mm-hmm. midnight. The witching hour. Mm-hmm. I thought that was three o'clock. Also known as the bitching hour. My time to shine. <laughs> <laughs> Kristen's yeah, bad bitches hours. Oh, that should be a video somehow. Kristen hours. <laughs> yeah. It's a real Kristen hours. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to burp. Oh, it didn't come. Never mind. Disappointing. <laughs> that's, that's not the first time that's happened to you, I'm assuming. Uh, 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 that's really deep uh, actually right now it's okay. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it <laughs> Would you know Gabe? Hmm? Would you know? <laughs> about Bruh <laughs> <laughs> This is the best audio content we've ever made so far <laughs> I'm pretty this sure this is so... like F tier Yeah this... <laughs> <laughs> no, this is the best start to a podcast we ever had. We had a failed Ligma joke. Uh, Gabe, Two failed Ligma jokes. Ligma yeah, yeah. jokes. <laughs> Gabe made, uh, made fun of my... Uh, what is that called? Erectile dysfunction? <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> Sometimes I think I do. Oh, do you we can get into that, that? On, another, on another podcast. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a Are you drinking too much? Probably. Oh, yeah. That might be why. <laughs> Got that whiskey dick. Uh, it's it's been known to happen before. <laughs> Happens to the best of us. Is whiskey dick like poopy dick, where you just like dunk your dick in whiskey? No. <laughs> I I like to think that it is. Yeah. Wait, was that a genuine question? <laughs> it was a joke. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what was poopy I thought dick? you were so sincere. About <laughs> That's what makes it funny. Now let's move on to a different bit. <laughs> I don't like this Man, bit we're anymore. so meta today. I just need to know what poopy dick is now. Anal poopy sex. dick is where you get shit all over your dick. Oh. Because the person that um, is taking it didn't wash out their butthole. Oh. <laughs> what my what ass? What is. kind of coward do you take me for? I'm. I'm not so, going to comment and- on that one. In high school, I remember there being a story going around. And I'm sure this is one of those, like, every school had one of these kind of stories. But it was like, it was like almost like a cautionary tale against doing (laughs) anal. Because it's like, it's like there's this one dude who did anal. And when he pulled out, there was corn on his dick. Because oh. <laughs> she had digestion problems or something. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh, we go the same damn high school. I swear to God, every school has one yeah, like that. I swear. Mine definitely had that, yeah. except it was just poop. It wasn't corn. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We called it I the corn I didn't hear about dick. these kinds of things, so... <laughs> <laughs> Uncultured swine. Oh, you know what? <laughs> this whole time I didn't think... So, there was a there was this one kid who... Um, we called him the boofer. <laughs> Because, <laughs> because he like he came like I don't know like one day he just came to school and he like gathered all the guys around. It's like, dude, you guys, I just need to tell you like, I was with this girl, and he was a weird kid too, which was like made it even better. He's like, you know, we were just doing the dirty, and I just took both my thumbs and just stuck it right up her butt, and we're like, oh. what? <laughs> we're like, did she like that? He's like, no. And he was just so confident <laughs> and proud about it. No. He was proud of it. No. Yeah. And so everyone just That's gave him a, a horrible nickname for the rest of this, uh, for the rest hilarious. of high school. Deserves it. That sounds like that episode of Letter Kenny where they're all playing catch and they're like, I don't like to kiss and tell, but we were, me and the missus were having uh, sexy time and uh, she started paying attention to my buttholes and then. And like the one character is talking about having the girl pay attention to his butthole, like the two other guys just stop throwing to him. <laughs> Wait, yeah, I'm just, okay, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah you know, you, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm yeah. talking about TV. I'm talking about yeah. Letter Kenny. This video is sponsored by TV. <laughs> Go get one Watch today. <laughs> the dying platform. <laughs> True. Except I don't yeah. know. You can get anything think- on TV now. In the next like five years, I think it's expected to go down by like thirty or forty percent, like viewership. It's or already whatever. gone down a lot too. Yeah, a traditional and, like, TV anyway, not necessarily yeah, 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 streaming. Well, yeah, 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 that's yeah. what I'm talking about. Like uh, sports contracts with uh, television networks and whatnot are supposed to go up, like Yo. go out in the next like few years. Yo, and there's a lot of talks that they're going to be moving to streaming services. NBC Sports Channel is going away this year they're shutting down this year really? NBC hosts i believe the olympics it hosts uh the english premier league soccer which is the most watched sports league in the world it hosts hockey it hosts the super bowl sunday night football and it's going away yeah Did they say uh, why? The, M- the nbc I, sports network it's like something you had to pay extra for for on your subscription so i mean like Whenever I was I was watching the Stanley Cup playoffs, I'd always have to watch only the games that premiered on the regular NBC channel, and all the ones on NBC Sports, I was just doomed to look at the highlights of. Because mm, yeah, how am I gonna watch Olympic uh, yeah. women's volleyball for no particular reason? <laughs> What's happening to the Olympics? Like they canceled it, or they like postponed I think it? Do we know anything about it? This summer. Okay. This think, summer, yeah. really. I'm, I've been actually been really excited for this Olympics, and like it's I'm in usually, Japan, baby. Yeah, so the new sport for this uh, Olympics is skateboarding. Oh, and, oh Tony Hawk. And no, Tony Hawk. Baby. Sean White has been training for it with Tony Hawk himself. Oh, oh my god! I think you've oh told, my we god! Talked this about is this the before, best yeah. timeline, right? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that just fucking dope? That's pretty I'm gonna cool. Show off my pro skater skills. <laughs> I love just the fact that Tony Hawk's life is just him having to like try and convince people that he's Tony Hawk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you look like Tony Hawk. Uh-huh. <laughs> wow, cool. <laughs> it's almost as if I'm Tony Hawk. Yeah. Damn At that crazy. point, it's not even a compliment, which is kind of sad. <laughs> like, I remember him tweeting that. something like. Um, a, a person sees his ID and is like, oh, Tony Hawk, like that skateboarder. And then he's like, yep. And then the person's like, wonder what he's up to now. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Tony Hawk. If you're out there yeah. listening to us, just know that we love you. Thanks we miss for, you. Thanks for making Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1, 2, 3. This and... video is sponsored by PlayStation. <laughs> Tony <laughs> Hawk. Honestly, Tony Hawk Pro Skater introduced me to like non uh contemporary christian music and to this day <laughs> punk music is like my favorite kind of music yeah have you ever much. told you my hot take on christian music do it that if you were to replace every single part where they say god um or like jesus or whatever you could it's just 
it's just like very over sexualized love songs. <laughs> yeah. Like, Cause I like they're always it. like, like they always are just talking about like how they need like God inside of them and stuff. And so if you just like took out God's name, then it's just, they just need someone inside of them. Patricia. Just replace it with Michael. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <we. laughs> Michael is an awesome Michael. He reigns. Well, not that one. Oh. Like Christian, Christian Rock. Like you know, not, not skillet. Like, skillet is oh, skillet man. Christian skillet. Rock. Yeah, yeah they is. used to be. Anyway, I don't know if they oh. still are. I don't. I don't think I've ever heard a skillet song. To be honest, <laughs> you're Same. all right. They're all right. They're yeah, all right. They, they it's okay. like it, it. The fact that they're all right, and that's like the only Christian music that I've ever considered liking. <laughs> says a lot (laughs) it was them like i think reliant k was a pretty big one but they kind of heard of them they kind of went off and just did pop punk that wasn't necessarily christian but it was clean um lame and then there was like switchfoot there was another big er group oh wait i think i've heard of them switchfoot i i've seen um I went to there in near where I lived. There used to be like this big Christian band, um, like festival, and it was like it was free. The so Bulls I just went Fest? one time, huh? What was it called? I don't remember what it was called. Oh, um, it was up, it was up north, but uh, there was I think a. I'm, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, but there was a band there who they have a really they had a really popular radio song. And they were there, like all of a sudden they turned Christian and they were playing there. But I forgot what the song was. Uh, it was like the one, I don't know, this isn't, I, I can't think of it. So this is just bad, bad story. But Big brain um, moment. <laughs> when, you, when you said like suddenly turned Christian, that reminded me, like the creator of uh, Fairly Odd Parents and like Danny Phantom and everything, he wanted to start his own like streaming service or something. And he totally intentionally didn't mention that it was a Christian, like, thing. So he got thousands (laughs) upon thousands of dollars from a bunch of people and just never told them that it was going to be this Christian service. So it's like this family friendly, not totally religious at all to suddenly, oh, boom, everything's Christian on here. Gross. Yeah. You love to see it. Gross. Oh, I looked it up. It's um, uh, the Red Jumpsuit Apparatus. They had the song Face Down. They went Christian? Apparently, because they were playing there. Oh my What? That does that doesn't necessarily mean that they went Christian. Well Maybe they're the, just trying to find like a big name. No, I think they they were they were playing like Christian music. Um Maybe and I was just sitting I, there. I loved Face Down in middle school. Yeah. Yeah. And like that's, that's a what, great song. That's literally all I like I was just sitting there waiting for them to play that and when I did it, I'm like, well fuck this, this is stupid. Oh my yeah. god. Speaking of middle school music. The other day, uh, me and my brother were just kind of hanging out. We were just like uh, on Spotify showing each other some old music and being nostalgic. And then he's like, hold on one second. And he goes to this drawer and he pulls out my old high school iPod that apparently he still has. (laughs) And I'm going through all this music that I haven't heard in like a decade. And I'm like having this insane nostalgia trip like every other I'm like oh my god I remember this oh my god I remember this <laughs> I need like, to do that <laughs> oh uh, man yeah. it was good times Game I, my entire recently. playlist is just throwbacks <laughs> that's all I listen uh, nothing, to <laughs> nothing wrong with that Yeah. Uh, I, and I, I like a good throwback every now and then I recently I found my old iPod touch that I had way back in like middle school Oh no! I was, <laughs> and anyway, like so some like, of the songs on there is just like, yeah, it's that throwback thing and like things I would play video games to back in the day. <laughs> tap just, tap revolution. <laughs> <laughs> you want to know what's really sad? What? Uh, what's up? So I think it was like probably like middle school or high school. I got I I really wanted an iPod. And I never had one, but I finally like for one Christmas I got like this like. Uh, MP3 player, which was it was kind of crappy, but I was like, you know, was no, it wasn't Zoom. Zoom was cool, but I didn't have a Zoom. Um, but I could only get songs in it that I had CDs for, and the only CDs I had was like 
one of those like now this is what I call music CDs <laughs> in, the, in the the original Twilight soundtrack, <laughs> which honestly honestly is a banger. Like I love the the Twilight soundtrack, so that wasn't even that bad. Love That's to amazing. see it. But you guys yeah. ever played Jelly Card too? Yeah, oh, I remember that. So. I remember. I don't know what that is. I played uh, a lot of Fragger back in the like. day. Fragger. That was not. He's he's talking iPhone games. I'm talking my iPod old Touch. iPod Touch that yeah. has like a 20 second battery life nowadays. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. Anyway, like I was looking back at some of my old levels that I made. I'm like, damn, I sure sucked at this. <laughs> Do you ever play a a Line Rider? Yeah, I remember Line Rider. I, I don't think I had that one. That was the, well, that wasn't that was an iPod. That was uh, on the computer, but that was like an old like you just drew lines and you had a little guy in a sled oh, and you would just go on your yeah, levels. Yeah, that's one of those flash yeah. games. Yeah, I remember like, mini clip. Oh, yeah, mini, oh, mini dude, clip. Oh, you're taking me back now. Yeah. <laughs> let's do let's do videos of uh, mini clip in, games. There was one I played. I think it was like Indestructo Tank or something like that. And you're basically oh. you were an indestructible tank and. You got yeah. Try to see how far you can go, blowing up everything just by running into it. But you, <laughs> if you ran out of fuel, you'd be dead, and you'd and you'd like you got oh, fuel by crashing into other things. I think I might have uh, played that. Sorry, that reminds me of the We Play Tanks game. The I was, oh that's yeah, pretty, I was pretty big into that. Yeah, me and my friend used to play that for like hours at night. Just yeah, trying I remember. To like those are far. some of the best memories. Just going over to my friend's house playing Wii tanks. We would do shit up, only getting <laughs> to like level 15 or something. <laughs> yeah. We would do that, or we would do um, the Wii Sports Resort, like the, the sword yes. fighting where oh, you like go yep. through different levels. Yes. I love I that. Fun. I love I the, never had. I love Wii Sports Resort. I never had Wii Sports Resort. I only had the original Wii Sports. Sports Wii. Resort is so like, that's one of my favorite. Yeah. Like it's Childhood just games. like it just takes that nostalgic like we play we sports thing and just ramps it up a whole different level. It's really it. good, really yeah. good game. I, love it. I never had it either, but um, I would always go to hit my friend's house and we'd play it, and then we'd also play the the plane one, and all we would do is just crash oh, it. Yeah. The little people had balloons <laughs> over their heads, and so we we, the plane yeah, we imagined that the little balloons over their heads were like. Just like that, that was their heads, and so we would just try to crash into them and just just kill as many people as we could. <laughs> Man, yeah. You would that have been a really, life. you would have been a really good Japanese soldier, James. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Kamikaze, James. Yeah, that's my new nickname. So, so speaking of high school stuff, what was like some of the weirdest craziest you're just playing just the scandals of high school for you guys i i have some marching band stories if you guys want to hear them yes absolutely go Thank for you. it okay uh freshman year um so i guess i wouldn't necessarily call it hazing but um basically like going into freshman year going into marching band they like told you all these different stories and there's like all these traditions and whatnot and um, one of these traditions in particular, or not really a tradition, it's just something that people would call it. Um, the the place where we would stay, it's like they have like the cafeteria and like main lobby. It's all like one room and it's in the center. And then uh, there'd be one hall to the left. That would be all the girls rooms. The hall to the right is all the boys rooms. And none of the rooms had a plunger. Where the plunger, there's a singular plunger, and it was just in that main lobby. So they would call it the walk of shame whenever someone would have to go (laughs) grab the plunger and then walk back to their room. (laughs) So now that you know that, there is a scandal, I guess you can call it, called the Phantom Dumper. Oh, no. That's such a high school So basically, what happened was that in someone's room, someone went back to their room and they went to go use the bathroom and there's just piles and piles of just <laughs> shit in their oh. toilet that you can't just like get out normally. God. You can't flush it down. So they would have to take care of it. And like the teachers like caught wind of it or whatever, just like it was like a simple prank. And then it started happening in the other rooms. 
I forget if it was the boys' rooms or the girls' rooms. But then after that, it started happening in like the opposite sexes rooms. So this was happening in both male and female rooms. <laughs> so like what? there's a potential of people of like one gender going into like girls going in the boys rooms or boys going into the girls rooms, which is not allowed whatsoever. What were you going to say, James? Oh, no, no, I was just, I was just reacting. Sorry. Oh, OK, <laughs> sorry. Um, so that's. When it started happening to, like, several rooms, um, that's when the staff was starting to get pissed. And, like, the teachers in particular. And um, between music practices, um, like, they went and they got, like, the color guard and they even show up to this one. And he had everyone, like, sit down and he's like, okay, let me talk about my time when I was a janitor. And he started talking about having the plunge toilets. And he's like, now this shit... <laughs> Like, I've never seen so much poop just, like, packed <laughs> into a toilet before, yeah. because he had to take care of one of them. And he's like, come forward now, and you won't be punished. And, like, basically saying, like, if you rat out the others, you won't be punished for it. Yeah. And I think my section leader, she was one of them. It was a group of people. <laughs> um, I've heard that she was one of them. Uh, because she's, like, the person that came forward about it. But, like, that's, like, the most memorable thing about um, my freshman year in marching band. Is so they, the Phantom Dumper. They had a whole conglomerate of just of just Phantom People. Dumpers? A yeah. conglomerate because, of poopers? Because <laughs> you can't do it with just one person. You Like, they would take turns pooping in the same toilet oh. without flushing it. That's so oh gross. God, that that's weird. terrible. I could never do that. I couldn't poop in someone else's poop. That's like <laughs> I couldn't poop on command either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like the fact that they did it to not like not just one room but several rooms and nobody knew who it was. Yeah, that's amazing. I have to God, like that's such sit. a funny story compared to my high school drama. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, just, well, do tell. Gabe, do tell. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay, so, like, I feel like I was somewhat involved in the drama. Like... Were you a drama so, kid? Fool. Not... I didn't think I was drama, but... You're drama. I think I was drawn to being, like, around it. Oh, yeah. No, I love everyone you else's know, drama. Like, That's my favorite like, part. But this one was actually about me. Uh -oh. So this was oh, no. when I was going to high school in Utah and I was a very depressed kid. And this was my sophomore year. I was 15 um, mm -hmm. and I had a girlfriend and we had a very, very toxic relationship. But uh -oh. I was like, I like needed the affection because I was like, like super depressed. I was yeah. that, that was like one of my most suicidal times. Um, and so like after we broke up, we ended up having, we had sex and to <clears> like, <throat> yeah, to <laughs> like, uh, fit, fit in with the cool guys in the football team. They were all talking to like, you know, oh, how far do you guys go? And like, Oh, I had sex with that, my girlfriend. And so this is also in Utah where everyone's Mormon and like, sex is such a no-go uh -huh. you know and so that got around but then it uh -huh. got around that i had sex with her and broke up which wasn't the case because we broke up first <laughs> before we had sex <laughs> yeah and then that started getting into like my local my the local congregations oh. and so like none of the the adults knew but like I lost friends because they all thought I was just some asshole dude who just like sex obsessed. And I'm just sitting here just like, I just want friends. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, no, Wait, no. but Gabe, so you were, you were a cool kid who had sex in high school? He was a sinner. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That you was the fool. problem, though. Cause You're was, right. You know, it wasn't cool to, to be a sinner. But, right. You know. I yeah, that's that different cool from high my school. high school. Yeah, our high school, my high school, everyone just was like, "Did you do it? 
yeah we did it yeah <laughs> it was awesome they probably got like mm. two seconds in and were like yeah that was great <laughs> sex craze I teenagers just, I just four did. seconds new record yeah baby I didn't really do anything in high school I just kind of was there I was like cool I'm just gonna I did, chill I did about fuck all yeah oh my god that reminds me so there was so this is actually with the same person before we broke up like we we had talked about sex before mm. um and one of her friends was like we were all having lunch together and they were like oh yeah i have sex with my boyfriend all the time and i'm like what do you use for protection so he's like we don't use protection. <laughs> Absolute it's gamer like, mode. He, he comes at me every every time, and I'm not pregnant yet. And oh, then literally no. the next God. month, she got pregnant. Oh, no. I well deserved. Say, I think I was saying she's one of those girls who's like, oh, yeah, we do anals. We're still virgins. <laughs> <laughs> the poop hole, loop hole. Yeah, exactly. Of course. Doesn't count. Nope. It do not. Do you guys know about uh, soaking? What? So, no. no. What is so, that? So this is the thing. It's mostly like I've seen it about it in like like BYU, but it's like if you put the dick in, but don't move it, it don't move. It doesn't count <laughs> as sex because <laughs> sex is the movement. Well, then how what? do you get it out? <laughs> <laughs> Just That's a good stuck. point. <laughs> We are attached for life. Yeah, you for just have real. to cut it off. <laughs> Keep it in there. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't think you laugh so hard. <laughs> you go to the doctor, help, I have a detached penis in me. <laughs> You mean a dildo? No. No, no. I don't. <laughs> I wish. Like weird hospital stories where people just go to the hospital with like the strangest thing shoved up their ass. Help, I have a Christmas tree up my ass. <laughs> um, oh. I have a couple more marching band stories. One that's like a sex scandal, if you want to hear it. Yes. Oh, yeah. Saucy. So I don't know if it actually was, but basically um, two people... Um, or like dating one of them was a drum major, mind you. So like top tier marching band person right there. Yeah. Um, basically, uh, one night uh, they decided to leave their rooms and um, or cabins rather um, because we had moved to a different place. And like they went off. I don't know if they actually did anything or whatever in the middle of the night, but they got caught. I don't know how. And um like there was this whole thing and like everyone was talking about it because they made it like really obvious like during practices cuz like um the girl that was involved her parents like showed up like the following day oh, and no. um oh. they were there for like hours she wasn't being involved in like practices or anything and then she ultimately got kicked out and sent home over that Damn. and she was like one of the best players straight A student everything and the guy didn't because he's a drum major. Oh my I, I, I oh, don't. That's, like, that's I'm assuming sexist. that's the reason why. Yeah. Yeah. That I don't know if sexist. it was like the parents decision because I know that his parents were also contacted. Mm. Um, maybe it was like the parents because, oh, straight A student and everything. If they're like, yeah, we're taking you out. We're taking you out of marching band. <laughs> like you're not allowed. And, like, we're to be taking part of you it. out. You're going <laughs> yeah. down. <laughs> um, I think this was the same year. Um, it, this could also be like the year prior to this. But um, there's another time because there's always like a senior prank that happens. But um, the senior class before my senior class, um, they decided that they wanted to prank the marching band using shaving cream. Which sounds pretty harmless at first. But then when you take into consideration some people are allergic to oh. shaving cream. I didn't know you could so, be allergic to shaving cream. There was like six, seven people out of the what 100 the? people that we had. That's still that a were lot allergic. of people. Uh -huh. Yeah. And um, something that started off harmless, like back ended and like that shit's hard to wash out too. And that was all over the uh, 
like football field that we were practicing on. So what happened was that our uh, teacher canceled morning practice because of that. While like seven people were being treated and then he was pissed for the rest of the day. And um, he took it out on us by taking away our free time for like the rest of the day to like spend like double the amount of time practicing because of what the seniors did. Huh. Damn. Damn. Jesus. Yep. I want. I still. Want, I want to get into more. How many people are allergic to the shaving cream? Like, I didn't think that was. Yeah. I didn't know that oh, was according to according to that uh, marching band, like six to seven percent. I guess. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I, I don't know Google if it was like a. Now. It could just be like a scented thing to it, or something, or it could have just uh, been like the specific brand. Yeah. Man. I don't know. But yeah, like several people had allergic reactions to that shit. Hmm. Damn. It'd be like that, I guess. Is <laughs> someone looking up the statistics or something? I'm looking up. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta know. I gotta know. We must. You guys keep talking. Simply. Kristen, you haven't. Yeah, I want to hear Kristen's story. I want to hear your stories. Yeah. I've seen Kristen's so... high school, what she looked like in high school. I want to know all your, your stories. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I played tennis for like seven oh, years. Me too. Um, And then it was like two in middle school and uh, four in high school or whatever. And I did, I did like summer camps along the way. So I, I say seven, even though technically whatever, whatever. Um, <laughs> so I was on, <laughs> I was on varsity for my last um, like three years and tennis was never like popular to play until for some reason, the volleyball girls, like half the team came over just out of the blue. Like, and I've been playing for so long. It wasn't like a popular thing either way. So the girls came and there was these two girls specifically that were like attached at the hip. And then, so the way that tennis works at our school, excuse me, um, we had like two, two weeks of practice and then we like competed against each other to see who would be like on JV or varsity. And then, so the two girls that were like attached at the hip um, got split up and one of them became my partner. And then the other girl who was attached at the hip was on the opposite team. And me and the first girl, this is confusing, <laughs> me and the first girl beat the, the other team. And because we beat them, we creamed them so bad, their both teammates got put onto JV and I was on to varsity. Oh and so God. it was like Damn. later on in the semester um, and I could like hear this, my partner's friend like talking shit, about, like bullying me next on the court next to me or whatever. Um, and I'm just like, OK, well, that's salty. And then little, late, little later, I find out um, that I'm going to be put down to third doubles because she wanted my place. And she somehow sweet talked her way with the coach to take my spot because I was second double. I, I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, and so I'm like, wow, OK, so you can just talk your way in without having having the talent. And so when the two girls got together or whatever, they obviously didn't take it seriously. And so later on in the year, um, the one girl who wasn't my partner got put back down to JV and I got my place back. But it's just like the coach really just let her or excuse me, I keep burping, <laughs> let her sweet talk her way into a higher position and just move me out just because I wasn't like best friends with my partner. So like and she was on JV for a reason. And uh, yeah. So I just, I should have just stayed in my spot the whole time, but oh well. I mean that that's what what happens when like favoritism is chosen like over talent. So yeah, I'm still just salty about that. But. I felt that a lot with marching band <laughs> stuff in yeah. high school. I can relate that to some hockey stories for sure. <laughs> I was saying, me well, and my best hockey? friend. I was me and my best friend. We were we were second doubles on our tennis team, but it's also just yeah. because we were like. We didn't have that big of a tennis team, mm -hmm. but uh, we just like, I don't know. We, I mean, we were, we were like decent. Like, we worked really well together because like we knew exactly what the other one was like trying to do. But for the most part, we were just fucking around the whole time. <laughs> like we were playing people and the whole time we're just like making jokes and just like literally like, trying I to remember. Hit... <laughs> we were just trying I to hit them with the oh, ball. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, you okay? I remember we played against this one team, and every time they hit it, they made like a lightsaber sound, and there was, it was like a legit competition, and they just kept going, wah, wah. so yeah. Okay, oh. I have some information. Ooh. So, it's 
not the shaving cream itself that people are allergic to. It's the fragrance. Apparently, apparently, like the only the number one reason your skin reacts to a cosmetic formulation is fragr- fragrance. And so I looked up, according to a 2009 survey on fragrance fragrance sensitivity, up to 30 percent of the population in the United States had an irritation from a perfume. Up as many as um, 19 percent, which sounds pretty close to your your uh, situation uh, had actual health effects from fragrances. So like some people will have like whole full on like like uh, hives. hives and whatnot. So gross. I've had, I've had a personal experience with that with dryer sheets before. Mm. Like oh. just like in the packaging and everything just having it around I got hives within like an hour. Weird. Yes. I get hives from mm-hmm. touching And it's never happened since. <laughs> I've never been allergic to anything. So like I just I just don't understand oh, how same. it works. Yeah. So James, <laughs> let me tell you about this. I get I literally get hives from touching things too hard. Wow. Like I it's I have this thing. Um I have to go to the dermatologist every six months. Um <laughs> Because I have hyperdermatographic skin. I basically, if I wanted to, I could scratch myself and it will like raise into a hive in oh, that no. exact like pattern I do. If you look it up, it's kind of gross, but also cool. People can like write poems on their arms. Like <laughs> yeah. I'm not that, I'm not that intense, but I still get <laughs> hives from doing shit like that. So, so you're, li- you're allergic to hard things. <laughs> well, and I worked at a movie theater for five or six years, and so I was constantly scooping popcorn. And my uh, hand, I, I thought I was getting like allergic to the metals or something, but it was the repetitive motion of me scooping it, which led me to find out that it was the um, the um, touching things over and over. Right, yeah. Really random. So the only thing I'm allergic to is cockroaches. <laughs> Same. And I found that out when I was a kid yeah we were living in georgia at the time and like apparently it was like breaking out in hives um and so i went to a doctor and like they had this like contraption it was like basically a ton of needles and on the end of the needles was like a common allergen of the area and they stick it in your back and whatever uh your skin reacts to the most is what you're allergic to so i'm allergic to cockroaches now i've only ever had two other crazy hive situations where I've had huge allergic reactions. One was from eating a Tony's frozen pizza. Oh. And the other time was eating this pepperoni. Interesting. So you're allergic to pepperoni? No, I'm allergic to cockroaches. Which means that they cooked it. Oh, wait wait a minute. I I don't... I don't like what this is implying. <laughs> yeah. The, F- the FDA does allow a certain amount of bug particulate in foods. Uh, ew. Um, yep. Because they, you know, they can't keep it out all the way out. Mm. Why That's not? Disgusting. Because they're big factories. Well, and? Okay. Get an exterminator. <laughs> yeah. Well, I have, that's disgusting. I have an yeah. interesting thing that's related to cockroaches that you guys might find cool or at least interesting. Yeah. Um, I think in New York, like, or I think it was New York, I remember seeing an article where um, there's a business that um, specifically works on cleaning out consoles of cockroaches. So, like, take a (laughs) PS4, for example, because of its shape, especially, like, the PS4 Slim or the PS4 Pro, um, with how hot it can get and how dark and, like, the corners and everything of the console cockroaches will like crawl in there and then they'll fry and then oh. they'll get like melted into the actual <laughs> hardware and Good. people Ew. will have their consoles just like die on them for no reason they don't know what's wrong and they'll bring it in and they'll like clean out the consoles of like dead cockroaches that are melted that's into the hardware Ew, that's so this gross. is definitely a new york city moment yeah <laughs> No, yeah, I'm allergic to like cockroaches, beetles, penicillin, literally grass, um, bees, cats, dogs, milk and <laughs> eggs. Like I'm allergic to, to a, a lot Wait, of shit. Kristen, didn't you say that you ate grass in Drunk um, Minecraft? Yeah, we don't we don't need to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> 
No, but the I, main thing is like people always think being allergic to milk and that lactose intolerance are the same thing. It is not. That's like one of my biggest pet peeves, and it's so stupid. But so lactose intolerant, you, you're just right? your body can't process it. You can still like have and you, you'll be upset and have cramps and diarrhea, whatever. Yeah. But being allergic to it, my body literally like rejects it, and I like am allergic. Like I, I don't even know how to describe it. But it's well, like you could two die, different right? things. Like, yeah, literally. If I have yeah. like too much, yeah. That's insane. Can you not have ice cream? Oh, I eat it. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I can die, but <laughs> worth yeah. it. I've lived a good life. Yeah, I really don't care. <laughs> uh, I'm allergic to mosquitoes, but that's like the only other thing I know I'm allergic oh, yeah. to. Like I'm, the bug bites will like swell up to like two, three times the size of a normal mm. one. I've had them before where it was like an inch. Like it's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. No bueno. No bueno. So Reese, I think you were telling me earlier you had some stories you wanted to tell. Yeah, so um, kind of bringing it back to the high school theme a little bit. My stories have to do with high school woodshop and uh, a program that is no longer carried out in my <laughs> old high school because the teacher retired and they couldn't find a replacement. Uh -oh. But, yeah, so, I, uh, I mean, my stories are kind of reason enough why it should have been shut down. I was going to say, yeah, that, sound, that sounds like there's probably a reason for that. No, no, it was a good program, and I think people should take it, but some of the things that happened, like, around when I was taking it are just some of the more wild stories about it, so getting into it, um, in my class alone, there was, like, three people who injured themselves. We had this guy, uh, I think the first time I heard of an injury in that class, well, it was, it was, uh, this kid who was using the... Uh, what's it called? The saw table thing. Saw? Table saw. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, and that thing can, uh, that thing spins really fast and it spins towards you so that you can like put a board into it and it'll saw it. And so he was uh, feeding it a board and it just uh, launched it right back at him. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it hit him in the, it hit him in the pelvis, uh, kind of, <laughs> and, uh, it, it bruised it a bunch and, he just collapsed pretty much and <laughs> you know he was he was out of it for a while and then Yikes. so that's like the first story i heard i wasn't actually in that class but when i took the class since i like i like heard stories about that and i'm like damn this sounds dangerous so the first day teacher <laughs> is a, yeah exactly i'm like <laughs> i was pretty excited i was like oh hell yeah i get to make wood things <laughs> and I don't know, it sounded fun. And yeah. so my teacher, um, he had his two work, like I had never seen this teacher in my life and he had two, uh, work gloves on and he was like introducing himself and stuff. And then just at one point in his introduction, just randomly took a pair of scissors and cut off two of the fingers that were on the gloves. <laughs> the way the class like reacted, there's a bunch of gasps and people like staring at him like, what the fuck? But yeah, he was apparently missing two fingers already. So he just did that. <laughs> what a perfect <laughs> guy for the woodshop class. <laughs> you know, I, from that moment on, I'm like, all right, me and this guy are going to get along. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, big, big shout out. Anyway, uh, so one of the first stories I have from that class is uh, this kid. I don't know. He was, you know, not the brightest uh, bulb in the brush or however you want to say it. <laughs> <laughs> but but he, um, he was using the jointer, which I believe you run a board over it and it smooths it out because sometimes they'll be like, uh, they'll have like curvature to them. So it gets rid of that, makes it like a flat board. Yeah. And it's like a spinning um a spinning bundle of sharp little blades that will like reduce a piece of wood's curvature. And so you run a board over it a bunch of times and he got his tie caught in that. <laughs> and it like started pulling him in. Oh, <laughs> and, no. and like he uh he got out of it in time, but with like a quarter of his tie left. And oh my God. The teacher, oh my God. Teacher, teacher was pissed at him, though. <laughs> well, what's he doing um, wearing a tie to, to shop class? 
Well, I, it's, it's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a lot, a lot of a lot of high school kids did play sports, and they had to like dress up for oh, the yeah. school day. Like mm-hmm. I know yeah, I had to do that dumb. for hockey. And um, so anyway, uh, another thing happened in a different class, but it was when I was taking it. Uh, this girl cut off two of her fingers, like oh my god, a little bit of two of her fingers, I think. In the in the same machine as the kid got his tie trapped in, he, oh she got God. her fingers caught in there, and um, she was on the bowling team, right? And they were oh, her, uh, no. they were her bowling fingers, <laughs> her bowling and, uh, fingers. I re- if I remember correctly, she won the state championship still uh, because she was Damn. really good. And uh, there's articles about it. Um, if you look that up, I'm sure you'll find it. But so that's. One of the more wild stories. And then I have a personal story about uh, machine injury. Oh, God. Right? So, Did you lose fingers? Uh, not quite. <laughs> oh. um, but <laughs> I lost fingernails, oh. if, if you're curious about that. Oh, no. oh, I hate that. Uh, <laughs> so that I, freaks me out. I had, um, I had this piece of wood that I was sanding down using this big old oscillating belt sander. And it would just run automatically. And it would spin and shit and so i was i was putting a piece of wood against that like sanding it down and this particular piece of wood was glued to another piece of wood and uh the glue just didn't hold for some reason and like the one piece shot off and so i was like pushing i was pushing the wood into the belt sander mm-hmm. and the one piece that shot off like startled me so much that my hand just jerked forward and went into the thing and uh it shaved off uh two of my fingernails and a good part of a third one. Uh, uh, and so I, like I, I felt, I felt like, I, I don't know. It felt like, uh, it didn't feel like much. I looked down. I'm like, ow, that kind of hurt a little bit. And I looked down and it's just blood covering my fingers. Aww. I'm like, Oh, uh, oh wow. yeah. <laughs> wait a minute. And you so I'm, but I'm just clutching my hands to my face right now. It's, That's uh, I hate this. Yeah, yeah it, it was it was like scary looking. And uh, um, fun fact, I dented the I dented the vent of that machine because the piece of wood that flew into it <laughs> just crashed into the metal grate. And it, Jesus. That's that's how my teacher found out because he he heard the noise and he came like running over. He's like, "What the fuck did you do?" And I showed him my hand. <laughs> <laughs> like, look what I made. <laughs> and I, he was like, "Oh, well, uh, we'll we'll wash that off. Go to the oh. office and shit." And I'm like, "Okay." And so I went to the office and I'm like, hmm, my, my giant wrinkly brain thought of this plan. I'm like, wait a minute. I bet I could use this as an excuse to go home early. <laughs> <laughs> and I did. That's exactly nice. what I did. I'm like, hey, dad, uh, I cut my fingers off. Come pick me. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, amazing. The recovery process was painful because like. Oh. Watching the new nails grow in over this like moldy, uh, blood covered, pus filled uh, part of my fingers was, gross, it was, stop, it was weird. Gross. Stop. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so, uh, sorry to all you squeamish listeners. Literally, but- I'm over here like. <laughs> I usually have like a fidget toy with me, and I'm literally just squeezing this play doh so hard. <laughs> uh, so Not even that squeamish. That's my personal I just... story. And then the rest of the time I was in that class, I was like so cautious of what I was doing. Yeah, I bet. I would um, hope I'd so. imagine. Yeah. Uh, so that's uh, that's my experience with high school wood shop. Uh, I made a <laughs> clock. I made a chessboard. Nice, nice. Uh, yeah. uh, just like anything with like nails, I, just freaks me out. I don't know why. Uh, yeah, it particular. freaked me out too. Like that was one of my biggest fears, and then it happened to me, and I'm like, "You're like shit, Bullshit. fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what do I do?" It's like almost worse than like losing part of your finger. Yeah, I'd rather. Yeah, lose like a finger. It, it was it was crazy, but the f- the adrenaline made me not feel it very yeah, much. The so. shock yeah, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the shock. Was Are they like back insane. to normal now? Uh, well, actually, fun fact: um, <laughs> well, they do they do grow back to their full state, but there's like um, so you know how there's there's like white underneath uh, the tips of your nails because that's where it doesn't cover any skin. It's like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, on my fingernails, it like dips down, so there's like uh, you see the white 
uh, I don't know how to describe this. It's like the white tip that you normally see on, on fingernails that grow yeah, little over French the tips. skin line. However, mine, like, there's, like, a lot more white in them because there's no skin there, and it just never grew Weird. back, I guess. Oh. It's kind of cool looking, but... <laughs> <laughs> It's like a, a little Weird. part, little party trick for you. Just like show up somewhere, and be like, "Oh yeah, I don't got skin under my nails." I'll get, <laughs> I'll get someone. I'll get you, a girl. It, it happens. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Just Gross. Moral of the story: be be careful around machinery, kids. Yeah. That's exactly why, like, I never wanted to do like wood shop. Um, there was someone in my senior class who he was a trumpet player and they were just doing like a wood chipper for um, like a senior class. Um, it's like an optional like outdoor ed class and they were using a wood chipper and he lost like the entire like tip of his index finger. Uh, but he still pulled through and he was still able like to play trumpet and everything oh. even without it. Damn. So when I was a sophomore. I have a lot of stories from my sophomore year, I guess, but I did um, tech for the the theater, and Ooh. this, with hindsight, this teacher was so unprofe- unprofessional and <laughs> borderline like illegal kind of stuff. Like mm-hmm. when my sister went through it, my older sister, like there are times where they would like stay there all night on a school night and get like no sleep because they had to get the work done Jeez. Um, without supervision. Um, when I took it, we were doing the show Oklahoma and we were building set pieces and I was one of the people tasked to build the steel windmill that was like 15 foot. Now, mind you, I don't have, like, any really building experience before this. Um, I got a 10-minute lesson on how to weld. And me and this other kid, who also didn't know how to weld, were said, okay, go do it, unsupervised with a welder, (laughs) and trying to make a 15-foot windmill. Oh, my God. (laughs) That seems normal. Yeah, I'm I'm surprised none of us got hurt. I would be too. I'm surprised you guys remember so much from high school. I don't remember anything from high school. Like I remember a lot because I had a lot of of bad memories. Yeah. I actually had a good experience with high school for the most part. Oh, good for you. One of the lucky few, (laughs) I guess. Oh, I'd say. (laughs) I do remember one thing. I almost caught on fire. (laughs) Oh my god. (laughs) (laughs) We were. um, It was a science class, and we were like. We were burning um, cereal pieces, and for, there was Why? like a good times. There was something about when we burned them, you could figure out what was like the chemical properties of them. Um, I forgot all. The, I forgot the science behind it. Chemistry was my favorite. I like biology, but uh, we were doing that, and someone they started burning, and it fell onto their paper, and so they tried oh, to no. like they like quickly like lifted their paper. And it flew across the burning piece of, of cereal, th- flew across the room and landed on my shoulder and started catching my shoulder on fire. <laughs> and so I, we just had to like, I just like looked over. I'm like, someone's like, you're on fire. I'm like, what? And I just looked over and I'm like, oh. <laughs> oh and my I, just, God. <laughs> I was able to just like pat it out, but I was like, whoa, cool. <laughs> cool. I'm about to burn alive. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, but I could have. I was, that was like freshman year. That was before I like figured out not to, how not to be greasy so i could have i could have just went up greasy, <laughs> greasy. <laughs> uh, new new sketch idea uh, <laughs> how not to be greasy for real yeah but i uh gave i i think oh yes Go uh on. i think definitely sophomore year best year <laughs> oh not no I, I don't think i really had any good years of high school <laughs> my senior year was pretty all right but i also just didn't go i just i figured out a plan (laughs) of so when i could start driving and you know i lived in a spot a place that had a lot of snow all the time in the winter so 
my mom would leave before me and so she would leave and I was like okay uh, I'm not gonna get out of bed so I would just lay in bed and then later before she got home I would drive my car out of the driveway go around the block and then drive it back in so it looked like I had left for the day like little t- in the tire tracks and so I would just I would just stay home a lot still passed That's with all cool. A's though I was a smart kid I just didn't want to go to school my, senior year I, was by far the best year for me just because like um by that point all the difficult classes were done and a lot of the classes were like blow off classes and yeah. that's also when i solidified that i wanted to do like um video production for my major because i took a film class and where we'd watch a movie and then we'd do like an analysis after the fact and i was like the one person in that class that could actually like talk about shit i was like oh i have a knack for this yeah uh, yeah. hell yeah I went to three different high schools um, my first high school I went to a math and science school not because I was good at it but rather because my friend was going there and I wanted to go with that friend and after that I was like eh, eh, this isn't for me yeah. so I went to the local public school and for sophomore year and then after sophomore year I moved back to Michigan and I almost went to the local public school there, but then my parents and I were like, well, mostly my parents were like, Hey, you should try out this online school. I'm like, okay, cool. (laughs) And it was like webcam based. So I did online high school for junior and senior year and did homeschool theater and Amazing. Just had no friends, and all I did was just be sad. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna Freshman ask. Year of college no. for me. <laughs> I was gonna ask if you ever had an online school girlfriend, and you like video chat with her. That'd be cute. Yeah, <laughs> I did. Oh, did you uh, really? We didn't. No we way. didn't video chat, um, really. But we we. Instant you, messaged a lot. Ooh, that's did a you story sext? for next time. Yeah, that's a story for next. <laughs> oh, Speaking I don't know of if you next sexted. time, I think it's about time. Damn it! Oh. Wrapped up. Oh. Time to go to sleep. It's <laughs> he's, time to he's go to sleep. The question. I'll see. I'll, I'll tell it next time if you remind me. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Remember. Uh, oh. Remember what? Yeah, what oh, am I remember to remember? it for next time. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> oh, I thought we stopped already. I thought, already. I thought like, you were about to give. I thought you were about to give life advice. <laughs> well, if only I had life advice yeah. to give. <laughs> Just remember. Anyway, uh, right. tie your shoes. Wear a seatbelt. <laughs> yes. Wear a seatbelt. Eat your Don't drink and drive. these hoes. <laughs> get paid, get laid, Gatorade. Don't, am I right? Don't let these hoes play you. Play the field, not the not the game. That didn't make sense. Yes. <laughs> and that's a wrap. Bye. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Bye. Follow us on social. Bye. Good morning. Sweet dreams. Bye. Subscribe.